संत कबीर और कबीर दास वॉज ए फिफ्टीन सेंचुरी इंडियन मिस्टिक पोएट एंड सेम हुज लार्ज फॉलोइंग इंक्लूड्स हिंदूज एंड मुस्लिम He is considered to be one of the greatest poets as well as mystics ever born in India. According to legends, Kabir was born in year 1398 to a Brahmin unwed mother in Varanasi, India, who then abandoned him in a basket floating in a pond and Kabir was picked up and then raised by a Muslim weaver. The weaver took the vulnerable child under his care and following the traditional manner gave him the name of Kabir meaning the great one. Even at a young age, Kabir displayed enormous spiritual talent. It is considered that he got all his spiritual training from his guru named Ramanand. The boy Kabir, in whom the religious passion was innate, saw in Ramanand his destined teacher, but knew the chances were slight that a Hindu guru would accept a Muslim as a disciple. He therefore hid on the steps of the Ganges river where Ramanand came to bathe often. with the result that the master coming down to the water dropped upon his body unexpectedly and exclaimed in his astonishment ram ram the name of the incarnation under which he worshiped god kabir then declared that he had received the mantra of initiation from ramanand's lips which admitted him to discipleship in spite of the protest of orthodox brahmin and muslims both equally annoyed by this contempt of theological landmark he persisted in his claim in his youth kabir was approached by two disciples who wanted minute intellectual guidance along the mystic path the master responded simply path presumes distance if he be near no path needest thou at all verily it makes me smile to hear of a fish in water a thirst The hallmark of Kabir's work consists of his two line couplets known as the Kabir ke dohe. The doha reflects the deep philosophical thinking of the poet saint. The verses or dohas of Kabir are still read by people with awe and admiration. He believed that human beings are equal and being one with God is the ultimate aim of every individual. His love and devotion towards the supreme one clearly reflects in his poetry. The Holy Guru Granth Sahib, the central religious scripture of Sikhism, contains over 500 verses by the great saint Kabir. Kabir's work corroborates the traditional story of his life. Again and again, he extols the life of home and the value and reality of diurnal existence with its opportunities for love and renunciation. The simple union with divine reality was independent both of ritual and of bodily austerities. The God whom he proclaimed was neither in Kaaba nor in Kailash. Those who sought him needed not to go far, for he awaited discovery everywhere. Sant Kabir believed in the Vedantic concept of Atman, that is soul. He always advocated the impersonal aspect of God, that is Nirguna, and therefore was against idol worship. As per his view, all human beings are equal, and societal caste systems, that is so widely prevalent in our country, is fallacious. He said that true guru is the one who can be attained through direct experience the common ways of realizing god like chanting austerities etc are worthless he always objected the ritualistic and aesthetic methods as a mean of salvation he opened the deep eyes of the people and taught them genuine lessons of humanity morality and spirituality He was a follower and a promoter of the ahimsa. He had turned the people mind of his period through his revolutionary preach. Kabir spent most of his life in the city of Faridabad near Delhi. It is believed that he had chosen his own place of death Mugahar which is located about 240 kilometers away from Lucknow. Those days it was considered that the one who would take his last breath and dies in the region of Mugahar would never get place in heaven as well as take birth of donkey in the next life. Kabir Das died in Mugahar just because of breaking the myths and superstitions of people. A beautiful legend tells us that at the time of Kabir's death the disciples quarreled over the manner of conducting the funeral ceremonies the exasperated master rose from his final sleep and gave his instructions half of my remains should be buried with muslim rites let the other half be cremated with the hindu sacrament he then vanished when the disciples removed the shroud that had covered his body nothing was found but a beautiful array of flowers 
half of these were obediently buried in magahar by the muslims who revered his shrine to this day the other half was cremated with hindu ceremonies in banaras a temple kabir chauraha was built on the site and attracts immense number of pilgrims one of the poems of kabir as translated by india's famous poet rabindranath tagore if god be within the mosque then to whom does this world belong if ram be within the image which you find upon your pilgrimage then who is there to know what happens without hari is in the east allah is in the west look within your heart for there you will find both kareem and ram all the men and women of the world are his living forms kabir is the child of allah and of ram he is my guru he is my peer to know more about inspiring stories of saints you can subscribe to our channel